Welcome back to AgriTalk at the National Farm Machinery Show as we sit right next to a Gleaner Combine. We'll tell you more about it in just a few moments, but Kevin Bean joins us uh, with Agco and Gleaner. And, well, Kevin, uh, we keep talking about the, how the crowds have been so good. As an exhibitor, you have to be very happy. I know they've kept you busy. Well, Mike, it's it's unbelievable. I don't think I've left the exhibit uh, from the time I get here in the morning to the time uh, the last person leaves. It's been unbelievable. Probably the largest crowds that I can recall in uh, in the uh, years that I've been here at the National Farm Machinery Show. So, uh, a great uh, farmers, obviously, great attitude and uh, feeling good about uh, last year's harvest and grain prices and uh, all the great things that make all of us feel great has just literally taken and uh, affected the attendance here to the point where it's just incredible. Do you get at this show, have you heard from um, serious buyers? I mean, or are they asking questions that would t- make you believe they're looking at buying? No question about it. I, 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 what we have is we actually have two, uh, two groups, Mike. We, we had a lot of people come up here and said, I just got a chance to buy uh, a new uh, S77 or S67 combine and uh, I just wanted to come up and, and uh, let you know that what I heard last year on AgriTalk and, and RFD and some of the other programs that we had done, the message got out there loud and clear, record sales, record sales for Agco with the new S7 series combine. And uh, I think then we had the other group that came up and I ran into this at uh, some of the other shows that we've done earlier. Uh, people coming up and saying, I've heard the message uh, I got a chance to get on a demo combine this last fall. I'm going to do something. Uh, I'm going to do it probably this fall or before this fall, and I'm interested. So two interesting uh, uh, type of, uh, of uh, farmers that have come up, but both of them, uh, both groups are saying, what a great difference. Great things you've done to this combine, and I'm excited about what you've done. We'll talk about some of those things in just a moment, but what we traditionally see, and we, we're seeing again, you get higher commodity prices, farmers will pay down debt, and they will reinvest in things like equipment. There's no question. I, I think if I didn't hear it uh, once, I've heard it 100 times from farmers uh, over the last couple days, they've said very clearly, uh, you know, this is an opportunity. Great grain prices. We had a, a great harvest last year, an easy harvest. Uh, so I didn't spend a lot. I didn't have to spend any money on drying costs. So guess what? When the opportunity is there, I'm going to continue to upgrade, and this gives me the incentive to be upgrading. Well, there have been a lot of upgrades, and you and I have talked about this um, over the last few years, and we're going to get into the details in just a moment. But just give us a real quick overview of the, the machine we're sitting next to, and a lot of people have been coming up, looking at it, and asking questions about it. Well, the S77 now is uh, really the machine that uh, is getting all the attention. And uh, to give you an idea, it, it's kind of interesting. Our sales are running over two to one of the S77 to the S67. And a lot of it is, again, customers wanting, we've really moved the needle in harvesting capacity really from what we call the Super 7, moved it from what the traditional 7 was over to closer to what a Class 8 was. So uh, they're walking up here and they're seeing the large 25% larger processor, the Tritura processor. They're seeing what we've done to the clean system in this machine, which is revolutionary in itself. And in addition to that, they're seeing that big 390 bushel grain tank, which is the largest grain bin capacity on any combine in the world, factory uh, installed. And as a result, uh, it's it's got people saying, wow. I've had a lot of people ask me, because I'm sitting here, <laughs> they think I know and I don't. How wide is this head? So let me know so I can tell them next question person to ask me that question. Well, of course, this is the new Dynaflex header, and uh, uh, obviously with the S7 uh, and the Dynaflex, both have won a Finnovation Award uh, uh, here at the uh, at the Farm Progr- or at the uh, National Farm Machinery Show. This is a 40-foot draper. It's the largest of the uh, draper headers, and uh, we build uh, in sizes in five-foot uh, increments, 25, 30, 35, and of course, the big one back here, 40, which is a nice fit for the S77 Combine. All right, now I can answer their questions when they come up. All right, we're talking with Kevin Bean with Agco. We are at the Gleaner Combine Display here at the National Farm Machinery Show. As we've been telling you for the last year or so, uh, Gleaner is a, a name that's been around a long time, but there are a lot of new things, a lot of improvements, a lot of upgrades, a lot of changes that we want you to be aware of that you may not have been aware of that how Gleaner has changed and the advances that it has made. And we'll tell you about it when we come back with Kevin Bean here at the National Farm Machinery Show. It's halftime on AgriTalk. 
Welcome back. We're at the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky at the Gleaner Combine Display. We're going to talk more with Kevin Bean in just a moment. Let me give you the results of our poll question at agritalk.com. We ask you this week, how do you think Congress should handle budget cuts? We ask, do you want them to make across-the-board cuts for all programs, or should they go in and look at them program by program? 57.3% of you responding said across the board, cut for all programs, and 42.7% of you responding said go program by program. All right, thank you for participating. We'll have another poll question for you coming up on Monday. All right, here at the National Farm Machinery Show, they give out innovation awards, and um, the uh, man sitting next to me is very happy to say that uh, you got, what, three of them last night? We sure did, Mike. Uh, Farm Industry News uh, recognized Echo and uh, the Harvesting Group, if I might say, with three awards. Uh, we received the uh, Finnovation Award for the new S7 Series Combine that's right behind us. We also received a Finnovation Award for the new Dynaflex Draper Header. And a third one, which happens to be on this particular combine that we have behind us, is our new telemetry, uh, telemetrics option that we have on there that allows us to monitor the combine in reality from my desktop computer at home. I can tell uh, what's going on in the field, uh, whether the machine is working, how many hours. Uh, I actually am pulling all that information off the CAN bus system on the machine and uh, I don't even have to go anywhere and I can tell what that machine is doing and uh, with that I can actually look, determine the location, where they're at, where, what field they're in and so on and so forth and lots and lots of more information but we have equipped this with the uh, telemetry system and it also won a fit innovation award so it was kind of like a clean sweep of the oscars if you might say uh for agco but an exciting night well congratulations we're talking with kevin bean with agco talking about the gleaner combine and uh, the the super seven that we're sitting next to and you you mentioned it earlier in our last segment let's get into some of the details and you just touched on some more of them what this combine features that is so exciting and is such a in great interest to farmers right now. Well, Mike, you know, our job, our responsibility as a manufacturer is to build higher capacity combines. And I, and I, I think when somebody asks that question, what is it that I gain when I look at this new S7 series, I just say awesomely a big increase in capacity without a lot of compromise. And in reality, when you take a look at it, one of the things that the S7 brings now is a substantial increase in capacity with reduced fuel consumption, and that is incredible. I, uh, a lot of people are asking, what can this new Tier 4 Interim engine that is standard on all S7 series combines, what does it do for me? Well, in reality, we're seeing reductions as, as much as 12% uh, on these combines. So if we've really increased the capacity in corn and soybeans for our producers out there, and we've obviously reduced the fuel consumption by as much as 12%, to me, it's a business case for the farmer that says, what Gleaner wants to deliver is the lowest fuel consumption per bushel of grain harvested of any combine. That's what I want to uh, make sure people understand. We think primarily corn and soybeans, but you were telling us uh, this machine works great for canola as well. Oh, yes. I, we were up in uh, in Canada here a few weeks ago at the Brandon Show, and, and we had one of these machines up here, uh, pre-production machines, that uh, was one of uh, many machines we had around the corn belt, the wheat belt, and obviously western Canada. And, uh, you know, one of the comments that a deer owner had and his son uh, who had came up there he was eager to tell me, I, I, my son and I got a chance, uh, after seeing all the things that you have out on the Gleaner website, the viral marketing, the social media that, that Gleaner has been doing uh, to communicate uh, the great attributes of these combines, uh, I had to get out there and see one. And I got out there, and in Canola, where they have been pouring the fertilizer to it up there, and as you know, their window of harvesting is very narrow, uh, straw is very tough, very tough conditions. He was saying he saw as much as a two mile an hour difference in ground speed. We're talking awesome uh, difference in capacity, and and I think that's that's what people have to see and experience for themselves. Well, you you've touched on a lot of different things here that are so important to farmers. Uh, the fuel economy is critical now with fuel prices going up. But that capacity, as you said, uh, they want to be able to you know they want to be able to get as much on there as possible and keep going, and that's what you're allowing them to do. 
Well, exactly, Mike. I, we have the, uh, the Tritura, we call it the Tritura processor, which is our innovative processor we have here, a motorized cutaway. And what people will see here is that, you know, we've, we've increased the diameter of this new processor by 25%. I, I was giving people numbers, the throughput, uh, the throughput in cubic inches of throughput area in this new processor went up 48%, 22% increase in threshing and separating area. These are big numbers. And one of the things I wanted to make sure people understood is that we have increased the capacity, but we've reduced the horsepower requirements that it takes to move that crop through this new processor, which means more effective capacity. It means this new 370 horsepower that we have now with, with power bullets to 400 on the S77 is all going to a, more effectively use that capacity on the machine. We have a very light, the lightest uh, platform of any class seven in the industry, and it, including the class six, uh, at less than 30,000 pounds. That means out there that we're not taking a lot of that horsepower just to move the laden weight of the combine and burning excess fuel of the laden weight of that combine through the field. It's going, in essence, to, uh, to increase their capacity. People can see here, by looking at it here, the, uh, the constant pitch helicals, the, the, the new wider helical bars, moves crop faster. And I think what they realized is we can now maintain our, our, uh, our rotor speed at a lower level and yet increase our tip speed or peripheral speed, which means that they're getting more capacity and less power, and they can see that. And uh, we had numbers out there this, this, this harvest where we put our 2010 model machine next to a new S7, and we were seeing as much as a 6% uh, difference in engine load just because of the more efficient processor means we must be doing something right. Amazing, the, the change that can happen one year to the next and uh, how quickly these advances are coming and the, uh, the improvements that are being made each year. Now, a lot of interest in this 40-foot head that's uh, right behind us. Tell us about it. Well, the new Dynaflex, uh, you know, this is probably uh, one of the most exciting projects that we've ever had. It took us uh, almost uh, about three and a half years of, of field test time to make sure that we got it right. Customers who have come up here now have got a chance because our first uh, harvest year was 2010 on this new Dynaflex. And uh, customers said, geez, if I would have only known what I know now, why did I wait so long? I am, uh, I am so glad I'll never want to go back to an auger head. Because again, the attributes of the uh, Dynaflex means very even, smooth feeding, higher harvesting rates. And eliminating that issue you had with auger headers with the spiking of, uh, of beans that would typically want to build up on your feathering sheets of your head. And all of a sudden the reel brings it around and bang, you take that spike through the machine. And as you know, when a spike goes through a machine, it, it, it creates more wear and tear on the machine. And you know, what goes in the front as a spike comes out the back as a spike. So the advantage you have here is even smooth feeding, more consistent, higher harvesting rates which means that you know they can deliver those 25 to 30 percent increases in harvesting rates over the, what they were used to with the old auger style heads. And take us finally to the cab and the ease of operator uh, uh, work there as far as um, what changes has it been made for to help that operator for the time he's spending he or she is spending in that cab. Well Mike this is our first opportunity uh, to really show off our new uh, high back uh, seat that we have in here I, I kind of spent uh, some time with some people yesterday talking about the fact that it took us about two years you know, to try to uh, do some things, uh, uh, so a lot of voice of customer groups saying this is a more comfortable seat. If you could add more padding in the bolstering, if you could wrap it around, this new high back seat is the first kind of its, of its kind to literally take it all the way up to the back of the head of the operator, wrap around the operator, and uh, adding the comfort in the seat uh, in the bolstering area to give them incredible comfort. We think they're going to be excited whether they get the standard cloth or where they go to the uh, heated leather uh, version of that same seat. Uh, the big advantages, uh, the cab now on the S-Series has quieted down by almost 2 dBA of some things that we've done to uh, uh, redo uh, the, the seals in the cab, the glass here, uh, and, and how we've gone to curvature uh, glass here to, to allow us to uh, quiet the cab further. Uh, great things in here in the way of the bin capacity I talked about. You know, we have the fastest unloading rate in the industry today at, at uh, four bushels per second. So we have this big 390 bushel grain tank that we can unload in 98 seconds 
that's the same amount of time it takes a customer who might own a deer combine with a 300 bushel grain tank to unload their uh, substantially smaller grain bin capacity. So a new machine from front to back. Oh, it is. I, uh, we didn't even get in to talk, Mike, about the clean system, but 34% more cubic feet per minute of air volume with our larger clean fan means a superior grain sample to what was already the best in the industry. So a lot to see, and check it out at your local dealer, and I know you'll be at farm shows throughout this coming year as well, talking about this Super 7. I will, Mike. 90,000 miles last year. Uh, I don't seem to be quitting. Uh, I'm going to just keep moving and hopefully get the story out on the new S7 series. Well, it sounds like it's getting out, and it's a great story to tell. Kevin Bean with Agco. Kevin will be back with us in our bonus coverage from here at the National Farm Machinery Show. Right after we wrap up our broadcast, we'll have some more bonus coverage at Agritalk Online if you want to join us on the Internet at agritalk.com. All right, we're at the uh, National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. This is day number three. It'll wrap up here tomorrow evening with the finale of the uh, tractor pull. There's still a lot more to talk about. When we come back, we're going to talk about the economy. We're going to talk about ag credit, some of the things going on there. We'll be talking with Robo AgriFinance and some things they offer their customers to help uh, with these uh, economic times. There are some opportunities with these higher commodity prices, but also some challenges to make sure you make good decisions, and we'll talk about that next. So stay with us. Much more to come from the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. This is AgriTalk. <music> 